Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the episode 21 title, The Girl with the Red Lightning. But also, we're going to be breaking down the synopsis and also another synopsis from another episode called Gone Rogue. But additionally, we're going to be going over some new photos that was released for the Cold Pack episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So I want to say sorry for my microphone in this video. This is completely temporary for the moment. This is the best I can do. It's just a microphone that goes on your camera. It's not very good. It's mainly just useful like small dialogue scenes. So I'm very, very sorry about that. But bear with it for this video if you can, that would mean a lot to me. So yeah, let's go ahead and break down this synopsis and this title first. So this is episode 21, the penultimate episode of The Flash this season. So this is going to be airing May 7th, so not actually that long off before we head towards this episode, but also the finale, which is next week after that. So that's the 14th of May, so not a long time which is kind of crazy to think right now, but yeah, the girl with the red lightning. This is utterly intriguing. This is possibly quickly just shot up to be like maybe my most anticipated episode this season that we've obviously not seen yet because the Godspeed one was my most anticipated one when we found out that Godspeed was coming and the title and it did deliver. It was my favorite episode definitely so far this season. But yeah, so episode 21, The Girl with the Red Lightning, what could this mean? We'll break down the synopsis in just a second, but let's talk about this title first, because that's what I really want to talk about. The Girl with the Red Lightning, this obviously is most likely in length with Nora, because when you think of it, Reverse Flash has Red Lightning, right? We don't really know any other speedsters apart from the rival, but you know, he's not coming back. So... We know that she's working with Reverse Flash, so this is definitely what the title is hinting at. Maybe Nora somehow in this episode is able to tap into the negative speed force, maybe they explain that because that's mainly where the red light comes from because it's not really to do with the color spectrum and in the comics Reverse Flash is... his speed force powers doesn't come from the speed force, it comes from the negative speed force essentially. So. Yeah, I think she might be tapping into that in this episode because the girl, we can infer that actually means Nora because she's been the main focus this season throughout the entire season, arguably probably the main character over Barry this season, which I've been loving. I absolutely love Nora. I really, really do love her. She's a great character and Jessica just kills it every episode. So the girl with the red lightning, I think definitely a link between Reverse Flash and Nora. So will she turn evil? last week's trailer actually sorry after last episodes we actually got the new trailer that's what i meant to say and in that new trailer she's back with reverse flash although she said i'm never going to be with reverse flash again she goes straight back to him and she supposedly is siding with him because he's essentially her mentor but also like a father figure to her now because barry's abandoned her and everything like that and we see in the trailer she starts freaking the hell out so, I think this definitely is a link between those two. So, let me know in the comments down below. Do you actually think Nora is going to tap into the negative speed force? Do you think that her lightning may turn red for a part of this episode? Or, on the other hand, it could be a totally new character. A totally new speedster. Because, if it's another meta, if it's Cicada, I don't see why they would have lightning. Lightning in the Flash is always mainly related to speedsters because that's everything that lightning is really on the flash so maybe it's a new speed for storm from another earth maybe it's you know the speedster that jay garrett trained but i don't see why they would actually bring in someone new so i think it could possibly be in relation to something that has happened in the future maybe in a different version of the timeline nor is actually a version of the reverse flash or she continues to work with the reverse flash and you see the changes that she gets red lightning, she doesn't have a normal lightning. So I think you can say a lot about this title, but I think 
it's mainly metaphorical and it's mainly just a link between Reverse Flash and Nora and how they're working together. So, yeah, it could turn literal in this episode. I think there's a chance maybe Nora's lightning turns red for a split second. She taps into the negative speed force, but I'm not sure. It's kind of crazy. I love this title, but there's a lot to theorize about in terms of it. So let's move on to the description of the girl with the red lightning. So this is how the synopsis goes. Cicada 2 makes her move. Team Flash is on high alert after Cicada 2 threatens to unleash a dangerous virus that would put all metahumans at risk. That is it. That's literally the synopsis. It's so short. So they're obviously hiding a lot in this episode. And the title has nothing to do with what the synopsis says. So this is all about Cicada 2. That being Grace, she's sort of took a back seat, especially last episode. So I don't know if this is going to be a complete throwaway. Like this is only going to be a little part of the episode, but then the girl with the red lightning is going to be the big part. So I'm really intrigued because when they do this, when they release all this information, like with the Godspeed episode, it's titled Godspeed. Everyone knows Godspeed's coming from the set photos and everything like that. But they never advertise that Godspeed is coming and it's part of Nora's origin story. So it's kind of strange, but I get it. But it seems like they're hiding something big about this episode. Also, this is the penultimate episode. So this virus is probably going to play into the finale because, you know, the whole reason for Cicada is to get rid of Meta. So putting this virus out would be obviously her endgame, basically. So... What do you think about all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think they are totally just leading us in the wrong direction? I think they are. So let's move on to this next synopsis. So this is for the Gone Rogue episode, which is episode 20. So this is premiering on April 30th. So this is in a few episodes time, actually. So two episodes from now. So next week we have the snowpack episode. We'll talk about those photos in a minute, but for now, this is episode 20, this is how the synopsis goes. Weather Witch, Queen Bee, and Ragdoll return to Central City. Barry continues to struggle with how he feels about Nora's betrayal. Brie Larvin, Josh Jackham, and Peter Merkel return to Central City. Meanwhile, Cisco makes a bold decision. Alright, so this synopsis is intriguing. I knew that Ragdoll was returning, I knew that Weather Witch was returning, but I didn't know Queen Bee was returning. So, in terms of Weather Witch, I think she's fine. In terms of Queen Bee, not a fan. Didn't really like her that much. But Ragdoll, I actually liked, but he was underused in the episode. So, kind of looking forward to him returning to Central City in this episode. So, Barry continues to struggle with how he feels about Nora's betrayal. So, this is going to be a big part going to the end of the season, if he can actually trust her. But from this, we can presume that Nora is back in present day, you know, with Iris going the episode prior in the snowpack episode next week, it seems like she's going to somehow patch up some stuff, although she is freaking out in the trailer. So we'll have to wait and see, but Barry's still going to be conflicted. However, Nora returns and we know from set photos, they are working together later in the season. So all of these metas of the week return and it's going to be like, I guess the young rogues, not like, the original rogue so like captain cold and everyone so it's not weather wizard it's weather witch so looking looking forward to it but i'm not like the biggest fan of all these characters so we'll see for now but the last part of the description is cisco makes a bold decision this is probably just going to be in regards to his girlfriend that he's currently going out with not too intrigued about that bit but all right let's move on to the snowpack photos so this is next week's episode episode 19 so this is going to be heavily to do with Killer Frost, but also her dad. So Icicle is returning in this episode. Let's break down these photos. So the trailer, I have to say, is very, very on the opposite side. So I think this episode is going to be quite split because in the trailer, it teases all the Nora stuff that's happening in terms of Reverse Slash and Iris. So I think it'll be like maybe 60% Killer Frost this episode and 40% Nora, Reverse Slash and Iris in the future. Alright, so the photo that starts it off, we're not going to go through all of them, but you can see them on lots of websites like Far, Far Away site. They are really good. But yeah, so this first photo we're going over is Joe and Barry are together and they're in some sort of labs. I'm guessing this is where Caitlin's mother works. 
and we see Caitlyn with them, so they're just looking at each other. And then we see a confrontation between Caitlyn and her mum, so yeah, that's where I'm getting that this is probably her lab, because she looks like she's in her lab clothing, although it's kind of fancy, but anyway. So then we move on to the next photo, and we see that Icicle is back, and he's full on Icicle. He looks really, really quite cool. I really like his hair, his eyebrows are frosted and everything. He looks cool. But his suit looks a bit weird. I'm not sure about the suit. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I kind of liked him earlier on in the season. But we didn't get to see much of him as Icicle. So looking forward to that. And then we see this next photo. And Barry is holding Caitlyn's mom. So on Twitter, I actually mistake this for Caitlyn. Because they kind of look similar. And I couldn't see her face. And I didn't see any of the other photos. So I didn't know what Caitlyn and her mom was wearing. So I confused that. So my bad. But anyway, so... This is him obviously saving her, so it seems like after this photo that we see next, with Icicle locking Caitlyn's mom actually inside some sort of test chamber or something like that, probably in her lab, I think Barry definitely comes to save her, so I think that follows after that. And so the last photo is just of Caitlyn and her mom. So I'm looking forward to this episode, nothing too special in these photos, I think it's exciting that iSchool's coming back, maybe we get to know a bit more about him, maybe they'll use the Metacure, I'm not sure if they will, but mainly I'm excited for the Nora, Iris, and Reverse Flash stuff that we saw in the trailer, because that trailer was amazing, so you can check out that video that's on the channel right now, so thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this, I'm so excited for episode 21 especially, which is the episode with the amazing title that is the girl with the red lightning there is so much to theorize about so let me know all your theories in the comments down below for this episode but also all the other episodes we talked about today so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye